this episode was crazy, guys. What's going on? Chu here, bringing you another review on Attack on Titan. This episode, I gotta say, I was in shock on how great it was. The amount of death. I don't think we've had this kind of death since probably the first episode where we've had you know, the first attack where, you know, obviously everyone knows where Eren's mother was eaten. I think that's probably about the same amount of death we've had in this episode. Because it, it's almost the same situation. Now it's the shoe on the other foot, basically. And not only that, do we see, like, also in the very beginning, Willie's plan. How he basically was ready to just have the world see what's going to happen. And he had a feeling... That the enemy was going to attack. And that he was ready to be that person to be killed. To ignite the fire, basically, to everyone. And sure enough, the fight came to them with Eren. And we see how people are just being killed. And just, you know, crazy. I mean, Zofia gets crushed almost automatically with the rubble. And Udo, who... I don't know why he did that, but... He got stomped to death, unfortunately. I don't understand why Colt and Gabby thought that maybe there was a chance for him to live. But he was dead after they picked him up. He was dead when he got stepped on. Uh, everyone making, trying to make out for their lives. And while all this was happening, we see the Warhammer Titan, who was Willie's sister, make her debut. And for a while, and I will say this, I always wondered about this Titan. We've always, it was always in like question who that missing Titan was because we had seen all of them except for this one and we didn't know its abilities. And so finally seeing it for the first time in animation, I think that was, it, it lived up to it. You know, the mystery, I'm well, a bit disappointed, but it lived up to it because of, you know, its power is tremendous. However, it has a giant weakness that we see towards the end of the episode but a great great power i will say uh, to have uh, but it's it's usage isn't that great let's put it that way in my opinion but as far as everything else goes we see how peak and colt i mean uh, porco get out they both get out of the hole thanks to peak squad they get them out uh, and how they were basically Thanks to Pete, kind of like, look, we're being sent to this place. Keep an eye on it. And, you know, that's how they got them ready. But they get them out. Peek and Porco are getting ready for the fight. And just when things are starting to get bad, we see, like, all this gear just in the air. And we know who it is. And we actually see a specific person coming to Eren's aid. And, of course, that was none other than Mikasa. Mikasa had a grand entrance. I am not disappointed. I hate that people were complaining about her design, her hair being as short as it was. I'm like, people, we're in the middle of a war. Why are we worried about what they look like? It's about what they do. And Mikasa gave us that. I cannot complain. I'm not a Mikasa tard. I'm not. But I'm being honest here when I say that Mikasa really did justice here when it came like they did her justice when it came to her her personality she wants Aaron to come home she even said that she's like Aaron please come home and Aaron like I said before Aaron is never gonna be the same he's gonna have this look on the look that we see on his face is the look he always was giving like it's gonna be giving from now till end not even a spoiler there but we have Mikasa becoming basically the the, d the distraction for the Warhammer, who, again, is seem to be defeated, but can get up, which is something interesting. Uh, and we have Eren trying to figure out what its weakness is, what, why is it special, what makes it different. And I gotta admit, the fight between the two was pretty good. I did enjoy that. I mean, the Warhammer had its moments. I was also surprised to see the ham Warhammer Titan talk the way that it did. And let's not forget the way Eren was beating the crap out of the Warhammer Titan when it was first trying to transform. That was something that I thought was completely badass and you could almost say uncalled for. 
but we see this happening and it's just insane while this is happening we have sasha and the rest of them making also their debuts for the season and we see a specific stare down <sighs> i'm not ready for it again it's 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 opening up my heart i'm not spoiling it but you guys may for manga readers you guys know what's gonna come but we have freaking little female aaron aka gabby you know being spared by sasha while trying to fight you know she was told by colt stay behind don't go please i need you to like be with your family and she got spared and that's gonna that's gonna change you know that's gonna be it's crazy what's about to happen I'm not spoiling it but we have them making their debuts and being crazy and we also get to see already and i will say pay attention to the minor details in this when i say that the difference between john's opinions on things and flotch's opinions there's going to be something happening in the future and regarding those two so pay attention to ideologies are important in this series from here on out it's it matters where you stand on things at from this point on and so the world is now in complete chaos I mean, all major, a lot of major leaders are being killed. Some have escaped. Many of them are gone. And so the world is now going to be in chaos because of Eren's move. But during the fight, we see the Warhammer Titan getting back up. And we have everyone observing. And I will say, the work that everyone has done, that uh, I guess the, uh, John and the rest of them were kind of orchestrating, they did a great job making sure that the army or the i guess the forces were being dealt with and they were very sneaky these guys were just crazy you know the the, the way they moved but we even see like levi coming into action levi basically coming in right when he was needed when he was having to save basically aaron from getting his neck ripped out by porco when he transformed to the jaws titan and it's crazy because everything was going like according to plan but levi coming in making his appearance and scaring the hell out of porco as well because we see aaron getting the crystal which contained the warhammer titan's body and then ready to eat it like that is the biggest weakness that it has it can't move but for so much and that's the problem with this but we see them all just outnumbering porco and just seeing how like the devils of the island are just outnumbering so great episode love the cliffhanger then i'm excited for the next one stay safe and i'll catch you later